Hi everyone, I'm Ray Vieta. We're going to start with a disturbing body camera of the deadly beating of Tyree Nichols in Memphis. It was just released in the last hour. Like many of you, the entire newsroom watched through that hour of footage. The video goes on to show officers eventually used a taser on Nichols. He then ran from the officers. The police department released four different videos. Another video shows the scene playing out from a street camera. From that perspective, you can see the officers punching and kicking him. In some of the videos, you actually hear Nichols yell for his mother. Nichols' mom spoke about the incident earlier today where she expressed heartache. No mother, no mother, no mother should go through what I'm going through right now. No mother to lose their child to the violent way that I lost my child. Thank you. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Whenever you're listening, I thank you for doing so. I am once again Kevin Mumphrey, and this is we will fix it in post. I am here with my colleagues, Karsten High Fargo yeah. and Victoria V.A. Jones. What's going on? By the time this is released, you may have all, pretty sure at this point, everyone has saw the video. Um, so first of all, I guess I'll start with you, Victoria. Did, what was your um, reaction to seeing it? Uh, it wasn't surprising, you know. That's what they do. And Karsten, what was your reaction? Um, so I've seen stuff like that before and it's like, it's never like a good thing to watch, you know, like, especially like just a brutal beating, especially for no reason, really that, that I, you know, have heard, you know, like there's, there's no justification for some stuff. And especially after they've like done certain things and I've watched a ton of this stuff. Um, you know, like weird, like kind of police interactions, and it's just like it's like, damn, why? And yeah. I, I, and it doesn't matter like the color or you know background or any of that stuff, because I mean, like what I watched like two weeks ago was a video, and these people had to settle out of court. Um, the city, the citizens have to pay for somebody else doing bad, where this cop got frustrated. Pulled this guy's shorts down and dry tased him in his uh, in his junk, and I was like, "What? What's the point of that? He wanted to inflict inflict pain on this person. I don't care what what you've been through. At a certain point, you can't do that." And, yeah, and that's exactly how I feel about the 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 Memphis joint. All right, just because you got a badge, don't mean you can do everything. Now, the fact that uh, again, like I said, we saw the. Cause they had like overhead over, it's like neighbor footage, the overhead footage. I, I don't know what that was. It like a, like almost like a sky cam or something. Yeah, it was probably on a pole. Like yeah. like a uh, uh, neighborhood watch type thing. Neighbor, okay, like a neighborhood watch camera. That makes sense. And then you got the body body cam footage, and I mean the last few years we've seen quite a lot of it. A lot of this. Um, do you do you all feel like psychologically? Just, or having us see this, do you think it has like in the future this could have some sort of mental of traumatizing like effect on on, on us society? As a society? Yes. I mean, no, because it's just coming to light. I mean, I've I've seen I've seen stuff. I haven't seen anything of that extent, but I've seen like personal stuff done to certain people with my own eyes. So how's it? You know, it's no now. It's just in the light. You know what I'm saying? Now it's just on footage, you know. So it's more like society is now seeing what you have grown up. Certain seeing. part of society. A certain, yeah, yeah, that's true. That that's a certain true. part of society. Because like, if, if you were, if you were like, you know, in certain situations or whatever, you would see that on a normal basis, right? I mean, like, think about somebody that comes from like, uh, like uh, a Watts. Or like a uh, uh, parts of New York, or whatever they were, quote unquote, over policed. Yeah, you know, like stop and frisk. You know, like where you're gonna have more interactions. Yeah, I'm always kind of somewhat conflicted on it because it's like one in one hand, I don't think like I think they said um, I think somebody else had called because they had an issue with this same group of this Scorpion unit unit. Yeah, 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 and calls were ignored. And it's one thing me continuing, you know, the, these people are doing this, but with video, especially with graphic video like this, yeah, 
It's like you can't refute it. Now it because if they just told you this happened, you wouldn't have believed. It. Yeah, but they would have dressed it up. Like right. like uh what is it? Um there was an incident uh a week prior to that where this guy yes. was the guy That's was like coming to, out yes. the trailer. It, it, this this guy was coming out of the trailer and he happened to be, you know, a particular pigment. And like uh I they said I guess he had a flashlight or something like that. He had his hands up. But he had something in his hands. Yeah. And they're like, drop it. And then it's like, bang, bang. And then shot him oh, in the okay, stomach. Weird. And he goes back in the trailer. And then his wife comes out. They don't shoot her. And I'm like, how do you have a hair trigger like that? Especially if you're like a safe distance away. I don't know where they were. Yeah. But then police come in and they're like, they're like, oh, we're effed. And I've seen multiple videos where like stuff like that, like I've seen like two two videos off of one of the YouTube channels where they post raw videos where one of the guys was trying to cover up his body cam and then they were whispering to each other. And then they planted drugs on this guy because this guy had just got out of surgery. And he's like, hey, I, I can't necessarily get out the car. They roughed him up and opened up his stitches. And I was like, I was mm. like, see, you thought he was lying. He's not lying. And they're like, oh, man, we're, we're going to have to find something now. That's what the one officer said to the other officer. Uh, and okay, you you were bringing up the um, you said these like the raw, raw video YouTube channels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what exactly are these? Uh, like um, I guess like it's like a, a auditing channel or something like that, and they just post like raw videos, like a body cam, dash cam, like all police interaction stuff. Some, you can, you, sometimes they stitch stuff together. Yeah, you, you you can go to the cities because a lot of times it's public information. Right, but you can you yeah you can just but, but type the, it in YouTube and then it's yeah. just gonna pop up yeah. a whole bunch of them. And it has it normally has like a logo like in the top corner or whatever. Yeah. Uh, I don't know it's if like it's like a little triangle. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Deal. I don't know if that's the the company that that gets the footage that like you know captures the footage for the police officers, or if that's like the YouTube channel. I have no clue. Because uh, every every single video it, that I've it, seen. Is it the uh, body cam? Uh, it could be the company. Company. I, is I, it? I, it could be. I don't know. I don't know. Like, I just know that triangle is on every single video that I watch mostly. I know. They're I like know, that. Because I, I watch those videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, it's, it's like watching cops. It's the, it's the new cops is what it is. It's a, real, a realistic version. I know. It's raw. Raw. It's yeah. straight up raw. Like, so, like, however long it takes... And that particular channel, it only like it, it, it mostly highlights the um, the um, what do you call it the um, the um, the the videos where we know something happens. So one particular outcome happens, and we know that happens. Right. So okay. like you're watching the raw, and you can fast forward through it too because YouTube to get to a certain point. Because it doesn't just do that. It it. It might be just the company because, you know, dash cams and stuff like that. So when we had that big ice storm or whatever yeah. for a whole week, like you could see like, uh, you know, the uh, T-Dot or whatever. You could yeah, see that their, their footage yeah. of them in the, in their wet plowers or whatever. Or you can see the people on the road or people, you know, on the side of the road and stuff like that. And it still had that little thing of a okay, the so little it, square. It could be the company. Yeah. yeah. So. so. Now, we... Again, you, you can see this stuff on YouTube, and then once it's shared, I mean, everybody's going to share it on their social. You see it on your socials. You'll see it if you're watching the news. You're going to see a little flicks of it over and over. Do, do you think it may be a bit of overexposure? No, like, yeah. I, I, th I think I think it's good for, like, you know, everything to be in, in the light. Yeah. Because, like, you don't want stuff, you don't want stuff, like, falling through the cracks. And I, I think it, it's it's putting a lot of stuff out there that a lot of people didn't think about because, you know, out of sight, out of mind. Yeah. So. Like uh, I said, it's the, it's the, it's the people who don't think it happens. So the people who, those people need to see what happens. But, and this happens yeah. all the time. And also too, like, you know, I, I heard some really bad takes in the last, uh, you know, 72, 48 hours, like really bad takes. I mean, like, you know, there's always gonna be people to like say crazy. Now, are these stuff. like Twitter takes or what? Well, like, well, some some some, some 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 of them are Twitter takes, and some of them are just like without actually seeing the footage, right? And coming out, be like, well, if the person had just complied, but I'm like, it, I mean, if if you don't comply, should you die? <laughs> I'm not like, that, that's I'm not. I mean, seriously, like, like that's almost a question that you need to ask to some of these people. 
And I'm, I'm not one of these people to be like, you know, whatever. Because I heard Charleston White, uh, like, what, say, like, two or three weeks ago on a video I was watching. He's like, it was almost like a, a foregone conclusion that, like, if, if police officers had to whoop whoop you, they were going to beat you up. And it's like, if you watch cops back in the 90s, that was pretty much the case. Like, they wouldn't beat you within an inch of your life, but they're, they're going to rough you up. Yeah. I mean, this is something different. Because, like, like, from what it looked like, from where I saw the footage, uh, from the body cam, not the overhead, because that's, like, the second part. Yeah. But the original body cam deals, like, I mean, like, they were on 100 by the time they got down on that dude. Like, I mean, like, up to the car. Like, real, ready to pull him up. R- real gang activity. That's what it looked like. I mean, take, you real, take, if you, if you took the badges gang. away, if you took the badges away, you'd be like, damn, man. Didn't tell what gang it was. Right. Police gang. I think with having um, so many deaths on video that's out there, I mean, when the, when the maybe 100 years from now, when they tell them the history of this, you can't, whereas years before, you know, time before, you wrote the history and people right. told that you could kind of, you could write it how you want it or, you know, whatever. But with the video of it, people seeing it throughout history. Will, will they will they watch the video, though, is the thing. Will they watch the video or will they just read the account of, of the video? What's going to be the quicker thing? Watching it. No, no, no. That's not the video. Watching the video is not going to be quicker. Because if somebody has a hundred, like one hundred forty characters, that's going to be a lot faster reading one hundred forty characters. Well, not for some people, but <laughs> I, I'm just saying, not we for can, some we people. Can't speak for everyone. But like a hundred, reading one hundred forty characters about like this summarizes like this whole thing doesn't tell you the whole story anyway. But I'm saying that's going to be a whole lot quicker than you, you know, watching this. And then you know, there are 30, people who 30 are, minute video who are um, who just may um, may not be desensitized to it. And you may not just want to see it. They just rather just read it. Well, I mean, like, I mean, you're, you're like, for some people, they're going to be numb. But, you know, like, you almost do have to compartmentalize, like, to break down, like, analyzing it anyway, like, from a, any kind of change standpoint. Because if, if you're going to, like, act emotional in any way, then you're not going to get to, like, you know, a place where you can actually think logically enough to change anything. Personally, that's that's my thought. Mm-hmm. But but I'm like what I saw though was like that wasn't like a, a regular police interaction, e- even like even like uh, like the most ardent criminal like doesn't get done like that most of the time, probably ninety something percent of the time, and I was like yo that looked crazy. And I so do you all remember the the Rodney King video? Yes. Yeah, from. Early and, and I don't want to can compare the two. It was in the nineties. Yeah, it was in the nineties. Didn't night, but I know the I, I know the um, chief had. I guess it was worse than Rodney King. I don't really want to compare the two. It just seems a bit. Intensive. You said you said the chief. Yeah, I think the police before it came out, the police chief. I believe you talking about the Memphis police chief. Yes, <laughs> I believe she's the one that, that said when she saw it, she thought it was worse than. Um, you know, Rodney and she, King. she she's the one that created that unit. So. It, like she created a union It's only been around for what Two three years Something like that As long as she's been there As long there. as she's been there Cause so, I think she had a unit She had a unit similar in Atlanta And it, it Something similar I don't know the details But there was some issues with that And it's what caused her to come they, to they, they, they were running They were running up on people Then too I mean like And then like <laughs> if, if you think about it Ain't you, that crazy though If you think about it Like Yo, like, why are you doing traffic stops? And like, why are you pulling anybody out of a car? Like, if you're a specialized unit, hey, does that mean you don't have anything else to do? Like, hey, wh- why were they that's there? Crazy. That's crazy that she had a problem with it in Atlanta, so she uh, came to Memphis. Yeah, because I think they tried to. Um, I don't know the details of it. I just what I remember hearing that they were trying to get rid of her in Atlanta, and it didn't work out. So she just ended up. Leaving there and coming going, to Memphis. Coming to Memphis, yes. <laughs> so you transfer a problem, basically. <laughs> basically, I, like, yeah, I, that's, I, that's, like I, I don't, I don't, I don't. We don't know for sure, but I've heard people talk about that particular unit. I didn't know she was the one that started it there, allegedly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Make sure I say that. Yeah, that's what I was hearing. Um, But the question I was wanting to get at, uh, we saw what happened with the whole Rodney King situation. It was videoed, and we everyone knew. I mean, we we are at least I remember feeling the way it's not. There's no way those guys are getting off. Hmm. Everyone saw it, and yet they went to trial, and those those men still got off. It's a new day and time. So do do you feel like how? possible do you feel even with everyone seeing it that because i mean they're oh, probably gonna oh they're not getting off they people are about to be made example of now they are charging with murder they are charging with murder and they kicked him off the force so like it, it was it was enough for him to do whatever and and for anybody to be like oh race this race that i don't know if that's necessarily the case uh in in most cases because i mean I, look for good or for uh, worse, uh, like policing, first responders, like you know, not not lumping them with this, but it, it's it's almost like a uh, like a fraternity or brotherhood. So I'm like, would it be easy for you to turn in your family? You know, <laughs> e- even if they're bad, depending on the level of like severity, or whatever, it'd be really hard so for you to turn that, in one of your it, family members, it, right? It, it depends on who the person is, and yeah. it depends on how that person affects you. Yeah. Uh, those are the two things right there. Hundred percent, hundred percent. But I'm like, I mean, how many people are gonna turn in their daddy? If it affects me, it, uh, he he robbed a bank. You be like, eh. you know, like I know where he is. <laughs> he ain't over here, but I know where he is. You gonna turn him in? I, I, I mean, a lot of people will be like, yeah, I'm gonna turn him in. I remember that one time when I was 13. <laughs> And y'all, yeah, he beat my some people, tail. Some people have more reasons than that. I, I'm, I'm just saying, like, it could be something <laughs> petty as that, whatever. Like, but, but, like, for the most part, most people are probably not gonna do that. Or, or, or better yet, even Mama did something. You gonna turn in Mama? That's probably a better. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah Daddy don't get the big piece of chicken. You turning no. him in? No. <laughs> but um. <laughs> what? <laughs> so um, and I, I guess the counterpoint I want to get this what. We all heard the um, the term "the revolution," but will be televised or something. Or may say the television. No, will. it won't be televised. Pa- power be out because all, all the people tearing stuff up. Well, not necessarily. I mean, it hasn't been really like Memphis. There was not not what they much. Thought. They didn't show it. They didn't it show very, it. They. It was a lot. I mean, it wasn't a lot, lot, but it was. Pr- it was pretty did. bad. Bad enough to where they would need the National Guard and everyone. I said it wasn't bad, bad. I was saying what, but I I'm mean, saying to, it was pretty bad. To think that nothing was going to happen. I mean, that whoever wins wins a Super Bowl, they're probably <laughs> going to go out and break some stuff, which was, don't make no sense. <laughs> it don't it make no sense. sense to like me, when but. Kentucky won that national championship, like and people burning couches. I'm like, why? Or just like when Tennessee and they took the, they took the gold. They took it's, the gold. So I, I've, with stuff like that, I was thought of it as this. They have a lot of energy, energy and they don't know what to do with yeah, so no it. They, they place it somewhere, somewhere. Anywhere. And in those in those moments, especially if it's like a, a team that ain't won nothing in Lord knows how long, your whole city yeah, may get to it. <laughs> That's stupid. That's why so would you go and just, destroy the city, though? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not tearing up my own be. stuff and I'm not tearing up my neighbor's stuff. For for like for my team winning or my team losing, because in some cases like yeah. your team can lose and they still tear up stuff. Yeah. So when they tear up stuff, lose they tear up stuff. But if they lose, we're just gonna tear up a little bit uh, more stuff. <laughs> 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 but uh, yeah, so when I say about the rev- like, may not be completely televised, which I mean it'll be talked about on television, but it doesn't necessarily need to be televised anymore because I got it on my phone. I got YouTube. I got Facebook. I, I, you know, they try to. I guess they sent. They, they're trying to censor or. Yeah, they censor a bunch of stuff. Like, um, I want to say, um, you know, the uh, police scanner. They had like a bunch of those people running those uh, CB radio groups and all that stuff. They censor a lot of that stuff. Yeah. Because they they were getting uh like scoops on like stories as it was happening, so the police would call stuff in or dispatchers, and they'd be like, "Oh, I know this detail about you know." Real time, what they're getting, and then they they shut that down or whatever for uh, like they shut down quite a bit of those groups. 
And I'm like, one of them was the um, the dude in uh, Wisconsin that ran over the people. Yeah. Yeah, like, uh, I, like there was a couple groups that got shut down during that time. So we, we be honest with you, we really don't know what's going to happen as far as when it starts to go to detail and trial and stuff like that. So, now, Do you feel like as a society that uh, it could, the more we see this, the more desensitized we as a society get, that it will almost make the situation in any kind of way worse? I don't think that is the thing that will be desensitizing to society. I think the the lack of seeing your fellow human as a, a person is what really desensitizes you. And it allows you to do this thing to beat up this dude for how long was it? Fifteen minutes straight? I don't know. At one point in time they had to hold this dude up to get more shots in on him. I'm like, yo, that's wild, man. That is wild. Yeah. And yeah. I'm I'm like, I'm like, regardless of what happened. Cause you know there's rumors circulating, regardless of what happened uh, or what led up to that. I'm like, at some point in time, you're gonna have to stop. You can't just keep on stepping on somebody, beating them up or whatever. You're gonna kill somebody. One punch can kill somebody. One of those punches could have killed somebody. One swing with a baton could have killed somebody. Even though this is like you know one of those quote unquote elite units or specialized units, whatever you want to call it. And I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, gang unit. Damn, man. Like, yo, they teach you to beat everybody up like that? No, they don't teach them to do that. I don't know. Like, I mean, like, they were beating that dude up for a long time. That's not the first time they probably did that. Yeah, but (laughs) that's probably not the first time. Like, what, they, they, do they normally stop in 10 minutes? I'm like, yo, these dudes, they they look crazy. And then the one dude got pissed off that he was pepper spraying the guy. And got some on himself and one of the other officers so that they had to take that frustration out on that guy. And I'm like, he's already on the ground. What are you doing pepper spraying him? I think he was already in handcuffs then at that point in time, too. By the time he was, um, especially with the overhead cam, he he was handcuffed. And I'm like, I'm like, what are you doing pepper spraying the dude that's like in handcuffs on the ground? And it's like, what, six of them? It was more than six. I'm going to just put out, it was more than just five of them. Oh, I know. I know. It, it started off with five. And then like, the, five, the five, I think that's what it started off with. Well, the allegedly, then, allegedly the, the one of the guys, whatever they originally got away from, uh, you know, didn't catch up to them until much later. The, where the beat hand already started. There, there was a guy with a taser and he was white. Well, I wasn't. I wasn't gonna say that part. I, I don't like, give a damn. Like no, I was. I was like. I was like. Hey, look, look. Allegedly, I don't care. I, no, no. Like no. Legally, we should care. Okay. Well, legally, I halfway care. Allegedly. Now, and so just give me one allegedly. One. Or just give me one. Va. One alleged. Legend. Alleged. Alleged. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey. I thought she was gonna say legend has it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, man. Uh, and I legend honestly, has it. I honestly should have started off with this question. Uh, do you all believe that it should have been shown? Yeah. 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 I mean, you, you can choose not to watch it. Right. You you can choose not to watch it. But you know what? Like, stuff needs stuff needs to come to the light. Because there's some people that say this doesn't happen. Right. And they are liars. Like, to say that it completely never happens, you are a liar. Because we know it is ha- has happened because there's other cases in the court system in many, many different jurisdictions where stuff happens, where stuff got out of control. And this isn't a double on law, enfo- law enforcement uh, deal, but it's just like, yo, like, they are held to a higher standard. It should be. It should be held to a higher standard. Video has completely evolved a lot of things you yes. know you know some and and sometimes some people are just too afraid to do certain things when they're in another video you know that might save somebody well at case in point if it wasn't for a body cam and dash cam there was a police officer two years ago they got char uh charged um or he got accused of uh doing some something with a lady that he's pulling over for dui and after they showed that footage then guess what happened she apologized very quickly hmm. and said she she should have never did what she did and she should have never accused him, but he did nothing wrong. And then there was another there was another police officer just recently or whatever where he's like telling the girl to be quiet because she's 
offering herself up to him. <laughs> but if there's no dash cam or whatever, guess what she can do? She can turn around after the fact and be like, oh, well, he took advantage of me or he did this. Yeah. All just out of spite. So I'm like, I'm like, the cameras are good. Cause if everybody if everybody knows somebody's watching, they're gonna conduct themselves as such. And I don't know if they have something like this where you know how like um court proceedings, like court records are all, like they're public, like anybody can get them. You feel like dash cam video. Like y'all might have a place for it where it should be public record where the Well well mo- most uh, a lot of municipalities it already is. And if and if it's not whatever, you can file a Freedom of Information Act in a lot of cases, even federally. Hmm. I mean that that's the reason why um, the the January sixth video is getting released because the Freedom of Information Act uh, stuff and people like trying to insinuate, regardless of what happened there, you know that not trying to get on that. But there's a bunch of video coming out on that stuff. Um, but you know, back to this, I like no, nah, I like it, it should be in the public record. Because it's in the public's interest to know what's going on. Right. And, and it, anybody that, that wants to shield it from the public or whatever, I'm gonna look at them sideways. Cause I'm like, hey, I don't and have to I don't is, have to look at it if I don't want to. But if I want to look at it, I should have that ability. The thing to. is we 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 pay for that stuff. Yep. So how come we can't have access to what we pay for? Yep. Like if I'm paying for something, I need to have full not full, but I need to have enough access to that. To see what's going on. If you're mm-hmm. taking my money that I work for and you taking it out of my check that I really don't want you to take out of my check, you think I'm not going to want to have access to that? Well, well, you know, some of the arguments that I've heard online, too, and some of the uh, some of the friends that I have or whatever for a long time, it's like, why are we doing certain things? Like, uh, I mean, a bunch of people don't know or have heard of it before, but civil asset forfeiture. So, like... In some cases where, like, uh, a municipality gets to, or the state municipality, police, wh- whatever representative it is, seizes your items, you have to prove, like, either in or outside of a court of law that you weren't doing anything wrong to get your stuff back. Hmm. And, and there's, there's plenty There's plenty of cases, like Institute for Justice takes on a lot of these cases. They, they, uh, they talk about a bunch of this stuff. They got a YouTube channel, uh, and there, there's like there's like two or three other organizations that actually handle on the legal side uh, for some of this stuff to help fight some of this stuff because I mean that's an uphill battle. How many people, uh, how many people got money for a lawyer? Not a lot. Not a lot. Uh, especially like for a lengthy case. <laughs> I mean, like <laughs> they can them lawyers I, can run for like I a, love, a few hundred dollars an hour. Hey, they, shout out to. Uh, Tank the bounty hunter, but anyway, this is a YouTube. Uh, he's a bounty hunter, but anyways, I love the fact when he breaks into somebody's house or kick, he has the authority to come kick your door in, you know, if you co sign for this person. But, anyways, I love it when these certain people were like, Well, I'm gonna call my lawyer. I know for a fact that you don't have money for a lawyer, so what kind of lawyer do you have? <laughs> <laughs> like, first and foremost, it that's not a flex. And then two, why are you in the scene agitating this person <laughs> that in the moment, that lawyer ain't going to help you in that moment. Right. In that moment. And this ain't like one of those, oh, comply no matter what kind of things. It's like, no, no, survive the situation no matter what. So I'm like, I'm like, hey, some people need to, uh, they they need to settle down in some of these cases. Because I'm like, you, you ain't going to meet fire with fire, especially somebody Somebody that's known to break the rules, oh, they're gonna break them on you. But just think about it. You ever seen them? And this is like raw TV to where mm-hmm. they they holler out, "Well, I'm I'm gonna call my lawyer." Like your your house is in the ghetto. Mm-hmm. What lawyer do you have? Public uh, defender. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. You go call. Okay. Technically, yeah, yeah. but um, as we so just say call your public. I'm gonna call my public defender. Yeah, but uh, as we wrap this up, want to get any uh, final any final thoughts you all want to get out? Uh, man, that, that it is horrible seeing that at any point in time, and like a larger conversation needs to, needs to happen, like uh, around like you know how we actually do business, and then like I, I even talked to like certain friends or whatever because you know like hey, what can I do to you know, to avoid some of this stuff or 
do something. Is there any way to like you know maybe sponsor like some police officers for like some hand to hand stuff like in a jujitsu uh, deal so they'd be more confident? Um, is there any way to like put people like you know into like the community like where they the only the first interaction in it somebody's bad moment so that the person might actually know this person and they won't be amped to like you know they're like gonna look at them you know. You know, if they're at the moment where they can actually talk to this person, whatever, right. like to de- to actually de-escalate. Right. And they're going to have some kind of relationship before, like, the traffic stop. Or even, like, you know, should we even be having, um, you know, like, revenue being counted on by getting so many tickets? Because, I don't know, that's, isn't, isn't that like a perverse incentive? So if you have more interactions, your you, your your number goes up on, like, you know, the times it could go bad. Yeah. At the end of the day, you know, video is something that's uh that that is used more now. You know, back in the day we didn't have video. So um the fact that this was caught on video is a good thing. It's a good thing. Because look what a, what would have happened, you know. The family would have came out and said, Yeah, he got beaten and then the police department would have been like, Well, we don't know what you're talking about. But oh, show the footage. The footage came out, and they were like, yeah. Because a lot of people thought the family, not a lot, but some people thought that the family was just, you know, BSing. Mm-hmm. So. Oh, um, hey, um, and I, I want to just touch on this real quickly. Um, you know, rest in peace, Shaqu- Sha- Sha- Shaquilla Robinson. Robinson, right? The lady who was killed in Mexico. And that was on video. And because of that video, and it wasn't police video. It was be- video they shot. Because of videos they shot or whatever, they even made the Mexican police look bad. Because they, they probably try to wrap, wrap that up. Because they, they didn't want that on they, they, uh, they dock it or whatever. Even though they weren't responsible for it. Right. They just, you know, it's bad for business if somebody dies in this whole hotel resort. So, you know, shout out to her and her dad. You know, like in the family and all that stuff. And that's another thing. A lot of people telling themselves they shot that video in there. Mm-hmm. They told on themselves. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, that's somber note. I'm going to go and wrap this up. I'd like to thank you all once again for listening with my colleagues, Karsten Hyde Ferguson yeah. and Victoria V.A. Jones. What's going on? And that is a wrap.